Hey y'all, I'm Lisa and this is Our Grey House. Today's video is part of a challenge playlist and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that in just a second, but first let's make something fun. Project number one is going to be a candle holder and this is the jar that's left over from that gumball machine candy dish thing that I made in my last video. So I'm just taking it and taking off that little rubber ring that goes around the top and I'm painting it with Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color charcoal. And I'm going to have to give this two coats of paint. I also have a candlestick, a glass candlestick from Dollar Tree. And both items are from Dollar Tree actually. Giving it two coats of paint as well. I'm going to be taking this bag of bones. I actually bought two bags and I got this at Dollar Tree. As you can see, Captain is joining me in this project today. I'm just going to be taking these bones and gluing them all around the jar. Now what I should have done was really measure a little bit better and kind of place out where things were going to go and how much room I had because I'm not quite happy with the placement of stuff. So, but basically you're just hot gluing it all the way around and then I'm filling in some of the empty spaces with the smaller bones that came in the package. And once that's done, oh, Captain is moving the, <laughs> once that is done, I'm just going to put some hot glue around the candlestick and then I'm going to place that jar on top. Here's how the project turned out. And although I like it, I wish I would have laid it out just a little bit better. But the total cost for the project is one, two, three, four dollars. It was two bags of bones and those were a dollar each, the glass candle holder, and of course the jar. As I mentioned before, this is part of an open playlist five under five dollar DIY challenge. And the idea is that each project should cost you five dollars or less. Today's hosts are Missy from Crafty Cove DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Chic. And the guest host is Moxie DIY and Java. I would love it if you would check out the host and the co-host channels. Those are awesome ladies and I'm so excited to be a part of the DIY challenge. Project number two is going to be a spooky owl. And I'm just removing that little sticker on the bottom. And this owl I got from the Dollar Tree, so it was $1. And I'm giving it a good coat of Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Charcoal. I only had to really give it one coat and then just go back in and touch up a couple of spots. Now that the paint has dried, I'm just taking a yellow paint pen and I'm going all around the eye. And I'm having to fill it in just a little bit because, of course, the black paint's a little bit dark. And then I'm going to take a red paint pen at the end and just fill in the center of the eye. And like I said, I wish I would have found glow in the dark paint because that would have been super cool. And this is how it turned out. I do wish I could have found some glow in the dark paint because I think that would have looked super cool and super spooky, but I like how it turned out and it would be a good addition to a tear tray. Project number three is going to be a ceramic cup. Well, two of them actually. And I'm first taking some rubbing alcohol and just kind of cleaning off the surface of the cup to prepare it for painting. I'm going to be creating two ghost cups. So I'm just drawing on eyes and a little mouth. And on the back, I'm drawing on eyes and another mouth. And I'm doing the same thing to the second cup. You don't preheat the oven, but you just set the cups inside and then you bake it at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. And then you let it cool completely inside the oven. And here's how they turned out. I think they've turned out super cute, but I have not tested them for like wearability or durability when washing them or anything like that. So I'll report back to you guys after I've done that. And these were basically free because I already had these cups, but you can buy these cups for a dollar each at Dollar Tree. So this project cost me about two bucks. Project number four is a candy corn candy inspired terracotta pot. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just taping off the middle section because the top rim is going to be white. The bottom is going to be yellow and the middle is going to be the terracotta color. 
And so I'm just using the painter's tape to kind of mark it off to help me have semi straight lines or kind of straight ish lines. We'll see how it goes. I'm starting off by painting the rims of each of the terracotta pots white. And I believe I got these terracotta pots from the Dollar Tree in the spring. And if I remember correctly, it was three for a dollar. So this project is gonna be very inexpensive. I already had the paint, I already had the painter's tape, all that kind of stuff on hand. And if you haven't already, let's be friends on Instagram. You can find me at Our Gray House. And the next step is to paint all of the bottom third of this terracotta pot yellow. And I, was, I knew the line wasn't going to be perfectly crisp, and I was okay with that. It's time to peel back that tape and see if our efforts, our painting efforts paid off or not. I think it looks okay, but the terracotta color is just a little bit too dark. I think it needs to be more orange. So I'm going to go in with a much brighter orange and try to carefully go in that middle layer and paint all the way around. Now I'm just filling up some little bags with candy corn and then putting that in the little pot and I'm trying to decide which ribbon to use. I end up using jute twine to finish it out. This is how it turned out and I think it turned out super cute and I, I just love it. I think it would make a really cute gift for like maybe a teacher or your coworkers or something like that. Just really simple and easy to make. Now the total for the project, the pots were a dollar for three of them and I already had the candy and the other stuff but if you included that maybe two or three dollars, something like that. But definitely under five. Y'all, my friend Sarah from GGB DIY and I have a crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. And we would absolutely love it if you would join us over there. The link is gonna be in my description box below and we would love it if you join and if you'd share the crafts that you're working on as well so we could all kind of learn from each other. Project number five is our final project of the day. It's our final project. Okay, I'll stop. Anyway, this boo sign is from Dollar Tree and I'm giving it a coat of Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color charcoal. And it really only needed one coat, but there was a couple spots that I had to touch up. But other than that, it was just one coat. And I'm taking this chalk pen, chalk marker type thing. I got it from the Dollar Tree and I'm basically just outlining the entire sign with it. And of course, Captain's helping. And I'm just taking these bat stickers that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm applying them to the sign. This is how project number five turned out and I think it turned out really cute. The only thing that I would add to this is maybe some Jenka blocks on the back so that it helps it stand up a little bit better because although it's standing up right now, as you can see, it's not super stable so it, it tends to fall over. And so I would just add some Jenga blocks to the back or another idea I had was to put it in the middle of a wreath. I think that would look cute as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now this project cost me about $2 because the stickers came in a pack and they were a dollar and the sign was a dollar. I already had the paint and the paint marker, but even if you included that, that's maybe three or $4, but definitely under five. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I have so much fun crafting and I really do enjoy sharing it with you guys. So if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.